Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is K Guy here, back again with a new episode of Epic Seven Video. I'm late to the party, so the enraged blazing emissionary、uh, Fire Dungeon has been out for a couple days now, and I've seen a lot of YouTubers、uh, doing the guide video on this. So today, I'm gonna share with you my team to auto clear the Hell Raid. And just give you a brief opinion on how I、uh, clean this dungeon. Of course, I did reference a couple of uh, uh, YouTube's uh, online, uh, and I came up with this team.、Uh, great shout out to Car Six. I think his video is really helpful. So if you、uh, like to watch his video, I highly suggest you to watch his guide on this dungeon. So without further ado, let's. Get started. First of all, I want to talk about、uh, the reward system. So there are a lot of good rewards. I think you are mainly aiming for like the Mologora, the、uh, charms, right, and the reforged material, of course, and the Covenant bookmark for summoning. And depends on your need, you can go for the connection, right, for element summons, or. Go for like some gems as well, and definitely the infernal origin、uh, is a must-have because you want to buy these,、uh, buy these、uh, sub things, modification gems via this infernal, infernal origin. Yes, and、uh, I've been farming the hell. Uh, like I haven't figured out the epic hell、uh, as you. Um, I know I'm not a huge、uh, PVE player, so yeah, today I'm going only going to talk about the Hell Mode Auto、uh, team. So for the first phase,、uh, I'm using a ML Can,、uh, ML Charles, and Arbiter Vulture setups like a full dark unit. I think ML Can here is the key because you want ML Can to、uh, stand in the front and to counter attack to do a lot of damage. Uh, and you should clear the first phase uh, uh, without any problem. And for the second team, I have uh, uh, a full fire team because I was trying like the water setup, but it wasn't really working well for me. So I'm using this tambourine,、uh, Kron, and Carry、uh, uh, setup. So basically, Carry is there to tank and do like burn damage. And the tamarins for the heal and Kron do damage as well, and、uh, this team、uh, can clear out it、uh, efficiently and without any failure,、uh, I think. And for the third team, I put Elena,、uh, Luna, and、uh, Ram because Elena is super good in this phase. Elena can mitigate AOE damage and cleanse off the、uh, the heal,、uh, the burn debuff. And heal the team, and Luna just there to armor break and to do big single target nuke, and Ren is also there to just you know have potential armor break and the damage. Okay, let's jump into a demonstration of the run.
So here is a run with Sermier instead of k -Ron. It also works. As long as you have a Karen and Tamarine, this phase should be cleared. Let me share with you the stats of the hero. So this is the ML can that I used uh, with the uh, pen, resist, and HP set. I happen to have great HP gear from War Boss Drop, and that's why I'm using the HP gear. You can also use other sets as well. And I have like a high ER build with Secret Sight. And this is like a typical PvP ML can. So for k -Ron, this is my counter k -Ron. in the counter cleave setup, also PvP. Uh, you can just put it there to, you know, uh, clear out the second phase. Uh, Tamarine, super average gear, just PvE usage, and this setup is fine. This is my carrot, uh, very average gear. I sometimes use her in PvP as well. I have an uh, Eddie Conceptor uh, to reduce S3 cooldown to have more uh, damage potential for killing the second phase. This is the RAM uh, PvP setup uh, counter gear. Elena, uh, really average gear with Dr. Spec to clear out the burns and high ER as well. 
Luna on a destruction uh, gear uh, for damage, a very average gear, and uh, for water expedition. I think in summary, in the first phase, ML Ken is the key, and RB and Closer Charles are just there to uh, do AoE damage and to have this stark elemental buff, 40% uh, HP. And remember that the boss is gonna have skill nullifier turn one, so the first unit that moves is not gonna do damage. Like in this case, I have closer Charles there to buff attack for RB and Ken to do damage. And in the second phase, I think the third DPS hero it doesn't really matter. You can use Sermia, you can use Kron. Here I show both run. I think you can even use uh, Politis as well. But I think Carrot and Tamarin is the key. As long as you are doing some damage, even the third DPS is dead, you're still gonna pass the second phase. And the third phase, I think Elena is really key. And I think Luna is super good here for big single target damage and potential armor break. And El Elena is just great in mitigate AoE damage, heal, and to cleanse off the burns to help your DPS survive. Yeah, that's all the time for you guys today. This is how I clear the hell mode, um, Daisley Magnar. And I will see you guys in my next video.